Dear UEFA Conference League. Not the greatest of intros. It's literally the second time ever we qualify here. Anyway, if you followed the previous episodes, you will know that we barely made it. Despite sitting on third before the championship group, we decided to be terrible in football. The only reason we can play in Europe this season is thanks to a playoff against the Pizza, which we won coming back from 1-0. This episode, we are saying goodbye to Roberto Piris, hello to three of our new strikers and beginning both the league season and our second European adventure. We will start this episode quite weirdly, with Stuttgart offering us an interview. It's the perfect time to tell you who wanted to get me into their club over the last couple of years. The list includes Werder Bremen, Besiktas, Nom, Valencia and Schalke. Oh and Celta de Vigo, who offered me an interview during this episode too. Coming to the club stuff that matters, it's time for a transfer window. We had to use the money we made from Roberto Piris. Outside the free strikers, we also have to improve the backline, as Stepan Halupek left us for Jelesiarni pod Brezova. He is replaced by Michi and Dembi from AC Regiana for 375k, and Jan Novotny from Sigma Omunes for a club record 1.4 million. Emmanuel Vieon enters the left back spot on a free. Yes, he's a DM but I make him a left back anyway. These signings force the outings. One of them is Matias Kozak, who went to have a massive paycheck in Saudi Arabia. Jaroslav Starka went to Taborsko for a loan with an optional fee. Same as Jonathan Robert, who went to Romania. Benjamin Tenu went to Academica Coimbra in the third year of Portugal. I won't even talk about our loan form, because quite frankly, it's no matter. It's just the same players. The previous season was okay for Czechia in Europe, but not enough to keep the fifth qualifying spot for us. Our task for this season is to contribute to the coefficient as much as possible. But first, the league campaign, which we began in Brno. Fishkov still don't have the stadium meeting the requirements. They're building one, which will be opened in 2031. Out of all games that open our seasons, and we had a couple bottles, I think this game is the worst we've played in a long time. Against a team whose ambition is just to stay up, we are down 3-0 after the first half. However, Petr Novotny started in his debut for us. He is a deep lying forward, which allows him to make runs from deep. Guess what? He used that to score a consolation, but he that did the same thing, which made things close. Oh, no. No way! This was one of the biggest comebacks we've made ever. Thankfully, all we needed in a game against Taborsko was a single goal. The guy who gave an assist is Gonsalves. We signed him as a free agent. Sparta Prague are fighting for the Champions League slot, but in the meantime, played against us. Most definitely, no, he passes back to Leidner. Yusuf Yazici, fantastic middle of play there. Yusuf Yazici this time from a corner kick. Pietro Pellegri makes it 1 0. Looks like he's a bit of a winger on attack, but passes to Leitner. Pietro Pellegri is about to score the second. Andre Franco may as well make an assist from this corner. He did. James Gomez 3 0. To be fair, we are not that bothered. Europe is more important at this moment. That wasn't an excuse for a game versus Radet Kralovy, which we closed in 7 minutes. And against Brovka Brno, albeit Petr Novotny had to save us. Dynamo Czeski Budziejowice had us waiting for goals until the second half, but it's so Novotny's another brace anyway. Before our return to European football, I'll show you one more league game versus Slavia Prague. Miguel Baeza passes with Tomago Bradaric, cuts inside to score for 2-0. Alex Ristic, who passes to Petr Novotny, from outside the area, he tried to shoot. Looks like we're ending with a tunnel loss. After seven games, we are sitting sixth in the table. Aside from the Prague teams, we only failed to win once, which is a good forecast for the rest of the year. Petr Novotny is now a top scorer, and he doesn't seem to stop with his form. Now it's time for our second European adventure. Our first destination would be Belgrade, as we got drawn against Partizan in the second qualifying round. We have been also given probably the hardest opponent in the entire second qualifying round, which already scores a goal. As we have a corner in the 21st minute, Valjankovic makes a cross, I think it was Ristic trying to score on the left side, we look to cross, and Marek Fiala almost scores it, but we get a corner at least, in order to recycle possession and potentially go forward again. Adam Schwede decreases position for another time, this time he didn't even try, let's be honest, and we're losing 2-0. We make a long throw to the penalty area, Valjankovic wins it, now Lukas and leads to cross it, passes to Petr Novotny. And now let's launch a counter. Pet Novotny on the left side. He's left footed, so this is an advantage for him. But he slows down the counter single handedly. Ivan Mirkovic now to Kolar. This is actually a good pass to Alex Ristic. Ristic makes a consolation for now. As he's going to the byline to cross it. Pet Novotny. Kolar to Ristic on the right side. Crosses to Pet Novotny. Now here's the thing we may have lost. 
and it's far from the good start. But good thing is, we have at least scored that one goal, and we see that we have massive advantage over Partizan Belgrade. And we have to use it for the second leg. The home crowd needs to carry us to success. It's at least the extra time, Marek Fiala, saved by the keeper. Clears the header again, but they see that there will be changes after the first half. Now Alex Vistic has a cross from the corner. Nobody wins the header, but Marek Fiala takes position in the penalty area that was so close. Given the ball to the box already, Matej Kovacic on the right side looks for a cross. Alex Ristic equalizes the affair. What is he going to cook in here? He scores a wonderful strike into the top bins to make us lead the aggregate. Today, it is confirmed SFC Opava becomes the first non-Slavia or Sparta Prague team in one or two years to actually progress a qualifying round in any European competition. The third round got us drawn with Kapoel Bersheva, who eliminated Gina in the second qualifying round. Well, it's time to show them it wasn't the right thing to do. Vistic makes a cross from a, freak, uh, from a corner, Marek Fiala takes the ball, and this time he opens up his scoring tally for the season. Marek Fiala won the result, and once it's by himself, now has to make a cross, Passes to Jakub Kolar, who doubles the lead. Kolar, fantastic pass to Marek Fiala. Petrnovotny makes it 3 0. That's. Dragon Ball! You're just stupid, Ivan. You, you, you are. You, you, you are just stupid! Filip Lechanow makes it across to the penalty area. Dorde Jovanovic with this header makes it 4. I'm feeling pretty much safe about that. We should stop all this dramatic stuff by now. Especially since Vladimir Bezdek smashes it into the top bins. Ball to Lukas and makes a cross. And that cross has been won by Alex Ristic. Makes a pass to Filip Blecha. Our captain is going to cross it at the box. And Alex Ristic is going to make it a brace. Omar now goes to the ball on the right side. Makes it a... Well, Zahi Ahmed scores. But I'm not really bothered. Guys, every point is important to a coefficient. We're building a nation here. And yet to concede a goal for another time. Ristic passes to Lukas Endl. From the throw-in. Diogo Nascimento. Brilliant header. At least we won. No problemo. Andriy Shevchenko got us play against Brentby in the fourth qualifying round. One of the more fierce rivals in our FM23 save, we had to for Anders FC. And by fierce rivals, I mean fierce rivals. Unless we concede a goal in the seventh minute. Fights for possession, gets to it though. Can make a cross into the penalty area. And this cross to Alex Ristic goes in. We're equalizing in 16th minute. And that means game on. And we're starting from zero. Valankovic deserves a ball here. Just pass it to him. Good one. Alex Ristic. Well, he's defended. Ristic crosses into the short post, but Filip Leha wins it back. Patrick Vidra with the ball on the penalty area. Valiankovic! Gives us the lead in the 81st minute. Only is a momentarily win of possession. Cruze. Well, that's a good shot. That's a very good result. And the win for us in the first leg of the fourth qualifying round. We are just 90 minutes away from the very first European group stage. Let's make sure it doesn't go to waste. We are on the white jerseys. So Alex Ristic takes on a free kick. In the first half, almost scores it. And Fagir has a brilliant chance to equalize the aggregates. Passes to Jurgensen, but we win possession again. And Marek Fiala has been launched into a wonderful counter to equalize. Pili Bleha makes a pass to Marek Fiala. Can he take the lead for us? He does. It's a brace for Marek Fiala from left foot. Emmanuel Villalon. Sven Seljak, fantastic goal from the first touch. 3-1, and that's pretty much over. Makes a cross to the short post. Lukas and passes back to Celiak. Celiak makes a long shot, hits the post. Maciek tries again. Sven Celiak tries again. And that is it. Shim Maciek blows the final whistle. Welcome to the Europa group stage. Welcome to Europa Conference League. League phase. For the first time ever, SFC Opava are in Europe. 
for profit. That was the 200th competitive game in our management. Nice way to celebrate a milestone. And we are not the only ones to make it this far. Despite two teams able to qualify for the Champions League, neither of the Prague teams did. But at least both got to the playoff rounds, which means they will play in the Europa League. And we are also not the only ones to play in the Conference League. We'll be supported by Slovatsko, even if they went here thanks to losing in the second tier of European football. Our fixture list is very promising. We have teams that we can win against and sides that will provide the challenge. Knockout playoffs are possible and I can't wait to see us perform among European top teams. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, you can hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will be very grateful for that. I will catch you in the next episode where we will play for the first time in the European League phase.